Make today your new beginning. Welcome to May, guys. I cannot believe we are in month five already. Where have the time gone? Most of us are really saying that, right? But it's okay. Just because we're on month five doesn't mean that you cannot start over. Doesn't mean that you're behind. Because you know what? I'm going to challenge you today to come along with me. Yes, I'm challenging you on every aspect of your life to better yourself, to become the best version of yourself. You guys know we have been going days straight right now with the video every day about self-improvement, becoming your best self, and it takes a lot of work. It's not going to be easy by no means, but if you're up to the challenge, I'm challenging you. So if you are new to this channel, my name is Chrissy Mack and I am here to help you conquer life's hurdle and also supporting those that are battling a chronic illness like myself and helping you level up to the next level of your glow up season. And again, if you are new, welcome to the family. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button because I don't want you to miss out on my latest video. All right, guys, come along on this journey if you're willing to take the challenge. The next 30 days is about self-focus, self-care, and just becoming your best version. But the first thing that we're going to speak on is hydration. I want you guys to start the day with your water intake. We're not getting enough water in, and it's because we're not being intentional with what we're drinking. I don't know if you guys know, some of you guys that may be following me may feel like, oh, I don't need to drink a lot of water. Yes, you do. You need to be hydrating your body also about nourishing our insides taking care of our body we have one body we have one life to live why not take care of it for me I drink this you guys already know I put this in my Amazon storefront it's our water bottle it gives you a time so for those of you that are struggling with taking in your water you know by this time of the day you're supposed to have this much water in challenge yourself this is a challenge I never said this was going to be easy by any means it's going to be a challenge for a reason because it's going to help you become your best version it's going to help you do things that you probably have never done before and those of you that got a kidney transplant like myself this is normal for you. Some of you guys, though, might be struggling. Some of y'all be telling me in the DMs that y'all struggling with your water. And as I talk, I'm going to drink my water because I still have a ways to go. Yes, you're going to be peeing a lot. Yes, you're going to. If your pee is yellow, ma'am, sir, I'm going to need you to start drinking some water. OK, that's a sign to let you know something is going on. And the reason why I'm so passionate about this kind of stuff is because I dealt with that, right? I had to go on dialysis and I couldn't pee. A lot of you may not know that, but there was a time where I could not urinate. Um, and now it's mandatory for me to be drinking water. You have toxins. You want to take care of your body. If you're working out, you need to be hydrating yourself. These are just some normal things that we need to be doing. So that's going to be the first thing on the list is that I want you to hydrate yourself. I want you to take care of your body because like I said, you only got one body. The second thing I want you guys to do on this challenge is set your alarm clock. We are going to wake up every morning early. We are going to start our day early. We are going to be intentional. And what we're going to do is we're going to pull out our devotional. You guys already know I made one for the community on purpose. I made it because I want you to work on working on work. <laughs> look at me. I'm stumbling. I want you to work on your mind, body, and soul with that devotional. We don't just focus on one thing over the 90 days. We focusing on multiple different things, your mind, your body, and your soul. So work on that. Not necessarily saying that's what you're going to set your alarm clock for, but you're going to set your alarm clock every day just to get up early right? Because if you have kids, once you start going or you got to get to work, once you start going, you're not going to be able to work on your dreams and your desires because the day already started. We need to be quiet during those times. We need to focus. We need to just have that alone time. And I'm not talking about nighttime. I'm talking about in the morning where you get a clear headspace, a positive mindset. It's a new beginning and you should be grateful to be even waking up, right? The next thing that I want you guys to do for this challenge is to read 30 minutes a day. Some of y'all are looking at me like I'm crazy, like read Read what? Self-development books, things that's going to better yourself. Or if you're a book on your craft or study, do something that's going to help you. Knowledge is power. Once you have that, no one can take it away from you. And I'm a strong believer in educating yourself. A lot of these secrets and things that people don't want you to know are in books, right? They say that 
We don't read. That's why we don't know things. Well, I'm a big reader. I'm a big advocate in educating myself and bettering myself. And there are some great books out there for you to go ahead and get started. Atomic Habits is one. Um, 12 Week year that's another there's like so much books out there for you to work on becoming a better version of yourself so get a book if you don't have a library card go purchase one on amazon but figure it out find a book that you could just it's only 30 minutes if it's in your lunch time read for the 30 minutes as soon as you wake up in the morning read for the 30 minutes before you go to bed you can find time if you have time to watch your programs watch netflix and just chill out you got time Okay, we're not making any excuses in this season. We're going to work on this together. We're going to try our hardest. As long as you're making the attempt to try, that's really all that truly matters to me. It's about inspiring yourself. It's about just leveling up. I'm just so sick and tired of us being stuck in this this phase because we feel like, oh, we're sick. We don't have no other options, racism, this, that. We're making excuses for everything. We're going to go out there and we're going to get this bag. We're going to go out there. We're going to make things happen for ourselves because we have no other option. No one is going to hand anything to us. So we got to go figure out how to get it done. Another one that we're going to touch on is exercise. I cannot preach this enough. I was never this girly. There was a time where I wasn't a girl that was in the gym. I hated the gym. I come from that, right? I come from a family that works out all the time. I tell you guys this in multiple videos, but because I deal with the lupus and landed me on dialysis and now I have a second chance at life when I got this kidney transplant, I'm not taking this for granted. I am not messing this up. I'm going to get up every day and I'm going to try. A lot of people tell me, well, I don't want to work out hard because you know my levels might spike. Well, then don't lift. Go walk. Go ride a bike. Go do something. But exercise. 30 minutes a day, get your heart moving. Because if you stay stagnant, guys, you know what's going to happen when you lay, you come home from work and you lay in that bed and you eat and you go to sleep, you're going to gain weight. And when you gain weight, you have other problems at hand, right? Diabetes. How many of you guys right now are dealing with diabetes or you know someone that has dealt with diabetes? I guarantee you all of us could put our hands up or high blood pressure, You know what I mean? We have to do certain things to curve that. We like to eat. I like to eat. I'm a girly that's a, I'm a foodie. And so I know if I'm going to be eating, I got to work that off. I got to burn that off. So one thing I know how to do is exercise, elliptical, treadmill, something is better than nothing. So on this challenge, I'm challenging you to get up and try. So you say you don't have any time to go work out, right? But you can get up a little bit earlier. On your lunch break, you could put your shoes on for 30 minutes. When I was living in Tampa, that was a big thing. Me and my coworkers, that's what we used to do. On our lunch break, we would go walk that parking garage. We would go walk up and down those stairs and get it in 30 minutes. So we will quickly eat something and then we'll just kind of walk it off because we knew the importance of if we sat at our desk all day, took calls all day and didn't move, like we would be really big. And I don't want that for anybody. I just don't want anyone to fall into that trap so please please do your best and exercise just a little bit I talk about this a lot because it really matters I've seen too many people just falling into this everyday trap and not doing anything so the next challenge is I'm gonna challenge you not to listen to it that music yeah that music either the trap music the country music or whatever music you're listening to stop all music today what we're gonna do is instead of playing our music we're gonna find a podcast or a youtube channel and we're gonna listen you know to something every single day something that's motivational something that's going to push us to the next level um i like a podcast bedros like he is off the chain he's raw he's like just crazy with it right he doesn't sugarcoat anything and he's mainly for the guys but hey you know girls need love too and so I like listening to him because he gets under your butt he gets under your skin and he makes you think about things from a different perspective stop being lazy you know what I mean that's his biggest thing is go out there and get it because he came from another country and he was able to get it why are people from other countries able to go and get things done because they have that drive they have that that motivation about them to go and get that bag so for us and it's not only about just getting the bag I know I say that a lot but it's just 
an overall thing, right? We're working on our mind, our body, and our soul. We're working on every aspect of our life. So please make sure you listen to something positive, take out the negativity, or just don't listen to music at all because it's not really gonna benefit you. What is those lyrics doing for you? What is Beyonce doing for you? nothing yes they're getting paid every time you listen to their music but how are you bettering yourself you're in the same position that you were in last year we got to make some different changes right so the next challenge is that I want you to organize your day every day before you go to bed I want you to plan out what the next day is going to be like do not go to bed without planning out the next day if you don't have a plan nothing is going to happen so plan out what are you going to focus on for that day when you wake up in the morning you open up your notebook you see what you have to do and maybe try time blocking that's huge for me I love time blocking right now as I'm making this video it's because it's in my time block to make these particular videos I know what I'm going to do at each each hour of my day, even down to me eating and taking a shower because I'm staying on schedule. I'm staying focused on what my goals are for me. So make sure that you plan out your day, stay focused in regards to that. If you have to go and get like those little time block sheets, so be it. There's actually apps that you can use. You can use your calendar, whatever it needs to be to alert you, to let you know what you need to do at particular times of the day yes some of you guys are working a nine to five and you say when I come home I'm tired I don't have time to actually focus on other things well then you're gonna stay stuck where you where you are and if you're happy where you are kudos to you but for those of you that are not happy some changes really need to happen and one of the biggest challenges that I am going to challenge you is to go to bed on time create a sleep schedule figure out how much time do you need for you to be well rested if it's eight hours Figure out what time you need to go to bed and go to bed. You know, I know it's pretty hard. Even for me, it's hard. Ever since I had my surgery, it's been tough for me. Sometimes I have to take melatonin. I'm just being honest. My brain is constantly running all the time. But you need to figure out time to rest and unwind because for you to be your best version, you need to have a clear mind. You need to be able to think properly. And when you're going off of fumes, you can't help nobody, sis. And that's just being honest. You're tired. You can't give nothing to your kids. You can't give nothing to your husband. You can't even give nothing to yourself, right? So please figure out a schedule for yourself when it comes to sleeping and rising. Next one is nothing. That is it. <laughs> I'm just playing with you guys, but that is it. For the next 30 days, I want you to stay consistent. I want you to stay focused. For those of you that are in the Glow Up group, this was actually a question that I asked you guys before the month started. I said, what are you gonna focus on for the next 30 days? For me, it's coming on here, doing something I've never done before, which is make videos every single day for you. I'm not making this for myself. I'm making it for you guys because I want to see my community elevate. As I grow and elevate, I don't want to say, you know how we talked in a previous video about dropping people off because they're not, you know, helping you become better. I don't want y'all to drop me. I'm helping you become better. I'm helping you become the best version of yourself. So take this challenge that I'm challenging you with. Take this challenge because if you focus on something for 30 days straight, anything is possible. Your whole life can change. You could change your eating habits and possibly the next time you go to the doctor, he could tell you that you're not pre-diabetic anymore. How amazing would that feel, right? If the next 30 days you focus on your business, you might be able to make this income that you always dreamed of. Anything is possible, but you got to go out there and do it. I can just only lead you to the water. I can't make you drink it. Like just like you guys, you could only come on and encourage me so far. I have to just know that in my heart, this is what I want to do. This is my plan and that I set forth. Everything that I do is intentional and everything that I want you to do, let it be intentional just as well. So that was just a quick little video. What we're gonna do for the next 30 days, again, this is a challenge for those that want to accept it. If you accepted this challenge, comment below and let me know I accepted this challenge. And if you're ready to glow up to the next season of your life, you guys know I created a comprehensive transformational glow up guide comment below I'll give you all the details or just check the description below and I'll send it to you at that time this guide is here to help you transform and get to the next level I have poured my all into this because everything that I knew up here everything that helped me get to this point I put in there everything resources tips 
all of it, motivation, everything is in this. So take a moment, click the link in my bio, read about it, figure out, does this resonate? Do you need a change? If so, get this glow up guide and join me on this journey or book a call and I won't mind helping you. That's what I'm here for is to mentor you and guide you to this next level. Let's do this. I love you guys. I appreciate you to share this with your friends and your family. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Like I said, otherwise I will see you guys on the next video. See you guys next time.